Hey everybody, it's Emily and I'm going to talk about books today, specifically children's books. As you can see I'm sitting in front of my giant collection of children's books and this is only half of it. I have another shelf on the other wall. But um, one of the things I thought would be fun to discuss is our favorite books by topic. Um, our local museum is going to be having their robotic dinosaur exhibit coming around again and I was excited because we went to that um, when my boys were six-ish, five or six, and they loved it and we haven't been since then and I think my youngest would probably think that was really cool. So we were, I went around my house last night and I was collecting all the dinosaur books I could find so we could start a little mini dinosaur unit. So I thought today I would show you some of the books I, I've chosen. Now I'm going to start with the ones that are still in print. And this is a great spine book. It's from the DK First Encyclopedia series and this one is First Dinosaur Encyclopedia. And it's got lots of information in it and beautifully illustrated. And it's just a really excellent resource about dinosaurs. So we'll be using that for the spine of our little mini unit. And also another series I really love is the Let's Read and Find Out series. And I have two of those for our dinosaur unit. I have Digging Up Dinosaurs, which is a great introduction to paleontology and what paleontologists do. And then I also have Fossils Tell of Long Ago, which is also by Aliki. And um, this one's exactly what it sounds like, all about fossils and what kinds of fossils you might find and how they got there. And there's even, I think, a little project in here on how to make a fossil, maybe. Or maybe I'm imagining that, I don't know. But um, both of those are really, really great resources and I highly recommend them. And then I thought I had a magic um, school bus book about dinosaurs and I could not find it. So I don't know if we just never actually bought that and I just borrowed it from the library or if we bought it and it got read to the point of destruction, which is a very good possibility. But I do happen to have the Dinosaur Detectives Magic School Bus chapter book. And I think we'll use this as part of our unit since I can't find the other book. But um, I really like the um, Magic School Bus chapter books. They're really well written for early readers, but they're also not annoying to read aloud. Like I know some early readers are just obnoxious to read out loud because of the way their sentences are structured, but this is much better written than those. So this is another great one about dinosaurs. And then a lot of our favorite dinosaur books are unfortunately out of print. I don't know why this happens. I I don't understand how so many good books can go out of print. But um, I'm just going to show you a few of those. We have Dino Poop. <laughs> we bought this as a gag gift, I think, for one of my children. Probably Robbie, since he was the one that was most into dinosaurs. And they would not touch this book. Because <laughs> my kids are weird. It actually comes with... I don't know if you can see this, a little piece of corpolite or dinosaur poop. And it's just a silly, it's a silly gag, but the actual book itself is actually really well put together. And it's got all kinds of information about not only dinosaur poop, but also things like amber. There's a whole section on what is called tree spit, which is, you know, amber and tree sap. And oh, there's also a section in here on mummies. So I think that's a really cool resource for kids who like weird, morbid things. And then another book I have is Did Dinosaurs Live in Your Backyard? And this is one of those question and answer type books. And it's by Melvin and Gilda Berger. And it's just any question you can probably think of about dinosaurs. Like, why are fossil footprints important? And did all dinosaurs leave fossils? what color were dinosaurs. So there's a lot of interesting questions in here. I like to use these as my kids come up with those kinds of questions. We'll go and look and see if it's in the book. And then I also have The Last Dinosaur by Jim Murphy. And 
I think this is a really interesting book because it's sort of like a dinosaur historical fiction, which you don't see a lot of. And it's exactly what it sounds like, The Last Dinosaur. This is the sort of reimagining of what it might have been like to be a dinosaur at the brink of extinction. And it follows a triceratops through the end of the dinosaur, sort of. And it is a longer picture book, so you can see there's quite a bit of text for each page, but there's text on one side and always an illustration on the other. And it's a really nice book. I would probably won't read this with my youngest right now, but if she were a little bit older, I think she'd really appreciate it. And then I have Digging Up Tyrannosaurus Rex. And this is really nice because this is really more, again, an older picture book. It's really cool. It shows lots of photography from different paleontologists as they are literally digging up a t Tyrannosaurus Rex, so you can see here. And there's also lots of illustrations too, but there's more photography than the illustrations. And this is about um, an excavation of a, a whole Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is pretty cool. So you can see a picture here where they show you the skeleton that they found and how it was positioned. So it's a really cool book. Again, I think this would be more for um, slightly older, older children. And then I have Dinosaur Ghosts, The Mystery of the Coelophysis. And this one's by Douglas, Douglas Henderson. Douglas, what is that? <laughs> so it's by Douglas Henderson. Paleontologists were excavating at a place called Ghost Ranch in New Mexico, and they found dozens of coelophysis fossils, fossilized skeletons, which was an interesting find. And this book is all about trying to solve the mystery of how they got there. And it covers lots of different scenarios of how dinosaurs could have become extinct. So this is a really neat book. And then for those of you who are adventurous, I have two books like this. And the other one, again, I could not find. But the other one is much more complicated. This one's called Makeosaurus, My Life with Raptors and Other Dinosaurs. And this is a really cool book because it's about a different style of paleontology. What I think is interesting and what my son thought was really neat was that there's different ways to study dinosaurs. You don't have to just be a paleontologist. And this guy is a paleo artist and that is what appealed the most to my son because he is also an artist. But um, this guy actually builds dinosaurs and he teaches you through the book how to make your very own realistic dinosaur model. And I've had this book for years and we have not actually attempted to make a model because I am not a crafty person. My husband is a little bit, but he never has time to devote to such projects. But as you can see, it gives you instructions on how to make your own model. So not only does he talk about in the book what he does for a living and how he and why he is a paleo artist, but it teaches you how to build your own, and it's really neat. And one of these days, we are going to do it, because I think that would be a really fun project. And he even has you, like, design a mural. So, like, here's your completed dinosaur model. You can see that. And then in the back, it also shows you an idea for, um, like, building a little background scene for your dinosaur. So it's really cool. The other one I have, and I can't find. Oh, and this is also, this is by Brian Cooley. And the other one I have is about how to build a dinosaur out of chicken bones. And it's a really cool book, but you need like three or four chicken carcasses. And I can never remember to save all the bones. So we never put that one together. But it is a really cool resource because it talks a lot about how birds are, birds evolved from dinosaurs. So that's pretty cool. So those are some of our favorite dinosaur books, and I would love to do more in this series because we have a lot of books, and I could probably go and pull all kinds of different units together just off our bookshelves. So I thought it'd be kind of fun. If any of you have an idea, please submit some comments and tell me what kind of series you would like me to do next. So today was dinosaurs, but I could do all kinds of things. I have books on pretty much everything. I could do a 
series about um, Shakespeare. I could do a series about, just looking at my shelves quick for some inspiration, electricity. I could do units on um, ancient Egypt or ancient Rome, stuff like that. So if you have any ideas that you'd like to see, just let me know in the comments. And please don't forget to like and share and subscribe. That would be great. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.